Well, good morning. <clears throat> Hello there to the masses of one. How are you? Whoever you are, introduce yourself, please. <laughs> this is the scene this morning. We've got our beautiful tender sitting there, <clears throat> floaty floaty with Ollie attached at the rear. And uh, we are live. Hello, everybody. Yes, there's more than one of you here now. Would you like to announce yourself? Good morning. Good morning. We're going to head up into the co cockpit soon. I just um, just uh, saying hello. Good morning. Greetings from ah. Oh, hello, Brandon. How'd you be? Now remind me, where are you based, Brandon? You're in the States, aren't you? I think. I think. Hello, Suzanne! <laughs> ah, you're an old soldier, Suzanne. You're like a trooper. <laughs> uh, aloha, KG. Is it KG Bill? Morning from Hamilton. Hamilton, the Waikato, Terry. Is that Hamilton, the Waikato? New Zealand, Terry? Um, hello Amanda! Oh Amanda, you'll, you'll be feeling a certain uh, pang I'm sure, for obvious reasons. Won't go there. T.O. Kerry. That's Kerry isn't it T.O.? I was just watching Finn's latest video, that's right. He, um, he gave Ivan a lovely little shout out. I tell you, when we, when we were leaving for the last time, Finn was very upset, as, as Ivan was too. Um, you know, that we were parting ways is very sad. Very, very sad. <clears throat> Good morning. Okay, let's go to the main show, shall we? Let's get on up and see the see the the team. <clears throat> I'll just say, oh, we'll say, um, just oh, hang on, look, just look down here. Look at this. Look at this. this is just fish. We're in three meters, three to four meters of water. Beautiful sandy anchorage. Look at this. These are all these little uh, coral fish. We were we were sitting over the coral this morning, which is just over there. And uh, seriously, it's just an aquarium, an absolute aquarium. Look at this. Just stunning, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Gentle breeze, five, six knots, eight knots. Not great sailing, but lovely, lovely, lovely. So these fish go along and scavenge along the bottom and just sort of um, nibble at the sandy floor must be little bugs and worms and things under there okay i'm i'm heading upwards i'm heading north people we had a lovely afternoon on the island yesterday it's very nice there they are look at them look we have provisions look at these provisions will you look at that oh we have tomatoes green peppers cucumbers, locally grown cucumbers. We've got some locally grown uh, watermelon coming our way. Look, my cup of tea's ready to be poured. Far out. I forgot about that. I'll get back to that. Hello, people. Good morning. Good morning. We're working. We're in the Maldives and we're not enjoying it. <laughs> we <are laughs> we're enjoying inside. It. Oh my goodness, Bill. I'm just sending some stuff. Bill, uh, $20, 1999. Thank you, Bill. Very kind. It's a lovely morning here, and we appreciate it. We Can have, we um, some yeah. Right, oh, so Declan's just finishing up his episode. I am all dressed and ready to go into town, actually. Love your, love your dress. Got to be covered. So I bought a few dresses in Yanambas because it's another place they like to be covered up. So uh, Ivan is. Oh, I don't want to. Ivan, can you say hello? Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. We're back on the cheaper internet. Rob now. Washi looks amazing. Rob from Oz. Oh, Rob. Mm. Rob from Oz. Hello, Rob from Oz. <laughs> Actually, we're very lucky to be here, aren't we, Robert? We sailed across the Indian Ocean and then we almost slipped on a, a banana peel yeah. when we got here. Oh, yeah. We went into town yesterday to get our provisions, then we brought the provisions back to the boat, then we went back into town because there's a cafe and, you know, we thought, well, we've got very few uh, 
Um, we haven't really stocked up the larder yet with fresh stuff, so thought, we'll go and support the local economy. There's a little cafe in there, and I think it's, it's only like a eight dollars to get a curry. So we went in, and they have no chef at the moment. <laughs> Just, <laughs> they were open, but only open. doing drinks. <laughs> yeah, no food. So, um, so then we came back again, and on our so we were, we made a big mistake in that it was the sun had set by the time we we left again, and we don't have lights on our boat, but we usually carry on our uh, tender. On our tender. And we usually carry a flashlight with us at night time. And Rob had shouted, get the flashlight. Because we didn't leave it in the tender while we were sailing. And uh, oh, I didn't get it. But I don't know. It was literally meant for Declan, but anyway. Yeah, well, nobody got it. Yeah. And, and then it wasn't really, it was still light when we went in. So it wasn't kind of thought about again until we were leaving in the dark. And as we were going out, the, there's a little, they'd blown a, a line for the boats to go through the reef. So we were following that to get to the, the port and starboard markers to then turn towards our boat. And just as we got to the port and starboard markers, another boat with no lights on was coming in through the port and starboard thing. And we had a split moment when we were on a collision course and Rob had to quickly divert. But unfortunately, so boats travel um it's american road rules but yeah american road rules in in new zealand we are on that side boats go like that so he should have been coming in this way we going out this way so rob turned to starboard but the guy turned to port so mm. then we're still on a collision course yeah and we literally just whew. at the last minute he turned the creek way yeah but it mm. was Super, Man. super we were close. both we were both on the plane and it was a big fiberglass boat. Yeah, they would have destroyed uh, like a, us. They would have. No, they it would was have, so we would have scared. been. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'd have wondered why are they not doing a live morning? We <laughs> yeah. decided not. You to. wouldn't have heard from us. We, oh, man. we wouldn't. We'd have all been in. If we'd have survived, we'd have been in a bad way. Talking so. about insurance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, anyway, wake up call. Always carry the flashlight with Always you. Always carry yeah. the flashlight with you. Yeah. 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 And maybe even bring some light. See, we learn from these mistakes. We'll never forget the flashlight again. So, do you mind if I just pour my cup of tea on dying fruit? I'm why parched. Don't, why don't I take that off? You <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Walking backwards into the mix. <laughs> the boy, I'm going to take you outside because it's not windy today. There shouldn't be any. Um... Oh, hang on. Do you want to show the good peeps the cup of tea I've made? I'm sure they're dying to see my pour. Look at that. Come on. Yes, we shall always carry a light, you see? We'll never forget Come again. On, Rachel. Oh, everybody. People want, they well, want to see how to pour a good cup of tea. Now, I got this uh, teapot from Hospice Devonport in Auckland. Devonport Hospice is pretty good, actually. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. Yeah. And I've been looking for a decent teapot. It reminds because my mum used to make tea with tea leaves, you know. It's a, it's a bit of a nostalgia thing, I, I think, you know, think about it. You know, I had wanted for a long time to get a decent, that kept the tea warm. Teapot. Interesting stuff, Robert. And, but here's the thing. You're from, you the, you you're from a different age, aren't you? Try the cup of tea. You go, give it a bit of oxygen. You go, get a bit of splash going on there. A bit of oxygen into the Oxygenate the tea. Oh, look at that. That is good. You cannot ask for more. It's a big mug, too. It's a bit bigger than you'd normally get. But, you know. Red light returning, says thing. Yeah, that's right. Red... That's Actually, no red light. Tea. Hey, they want to hear about the tea, how good oh. it is. They really do. I know they do. Rob loves a cup of tea. They do. They love it. They love it. It's there good. Go. It's very good quality. It's actually a brand. And next we'll be watching some paint dry. It's actually a brand called Mandra, like the town in southwest Australia. Mandra. M-A-N-D-U-R-A. -A, Mandra. And they do an organic brew. I, I think it's grown up in Cairns area. Um, but anyway. It's, it's very good. If you're an Aussie, I recommend it. Mandra, get go away, get away from the commercial big industrial monster corporates. Go for the smaller, you know, same same with any food item actually. Now we got these. Did I tell you? Yeah, I did say we got these cucumbers from the local farm, and we've got twenty watermelons coming. They're just small watermelons. They just pick them. Yep. Yeah, nice little. They're not size. monster watermelons like yeah. you get in the supermarket. And they are beautiful. There's a red one and a yellow one. And oh. a blue one. And the freshly grown, just picked yesterday. Yep. Right. Yellow flesh one. I think people have had enough of my cup of tea. I think they'd already had enough before you started. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boys.
The boys, look at this. The boys are into action, recording another exciting. I'm going to try and. Oh, there is wind out here, so cold and wet. Oh, Clint, I feel sorry for you in Paris. It must be awful in, he Paris. in Paris. He is, and he says it's cold and wet. The croissants. I'm in croissants. Yeah, you've got croissants. You've got pan au chocolat. You've got French bread. What are you complaining about the weather for? <laughs> we love Par We love the food in oh, France. Mate, we put on 10 kilos while we're in Paris. Mm. Yeah. This is the making of a thumbnail. Look at here. Yeah. The boys are making a thumbnail apparently. Wind noise. Wind's good. No noise. I've got my hand around the. Um, yeah, to try and stop the wind. Here we go, here he goes. Beautiful. Lovely. How's the water today? Uh, so good. It's not a bad little patch that we're in. Hey, um, Hang on. Oh, sorry. I was just going to turn it on myself. Yeah, but I put, put my hand over there. Oh, I think it's working. I guess it is. Yes, hey, um, so awesome. see, Suzanne's watching. It's about midnight where Suzanne is. No doubt others uh, who are watching it's at a weird time of the day. Right now, here in local time, it's well, it was 10 o'clock when we started, 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, yesterday, we went in and well, the officials came on board, did the paperwork. They were very chilly, about five or six of them came on board. Yeah, and, it was um, so quick. It was very easy. No, really hassle, quick. So just, you know, Compared to um, Indonesia, which takes days. Yeah, no, it was really good. You know, nice turn. So, uh, Asadula, Asad. Bernard says he can't believe how clear the water is. It is pretty oh, man, beautiful. It's amazing. Rachel went for a kayak this morning. You did a little run, didn't you? And, yeah, um, I went to the island. I went for a run on the main street. It's so flat. <laughs> not a hill anywhere. Well, it's not a very big island, but um, yeah, I went for a, a run down the main street. I felt a little bit. I'll turn this to me and go inside because I am a bit worried about the wind noise. So I went inside. I w was a bit worried because, you know, women have to be dressed modestly. And so uh, usually I would run in a top that shows my shoulders, but I had to find a T-shirt that didn't. And I wore my longest pair of running pants. 1 a.m. Brandon, thank you. And we were to run through town and I thought, I hope I'm not being disrespectful. But all I got was smiles and hellos. There weren't many people about because it was like 6.30 in the morning. But um, yeah, all I got was smiles. So I felt okay about that. That was good. Very nice. So I got to have a, a bit of a better look than we did yesterday. We only we stayed very much just in about a 500 metre square yesterday. Um, but we're going to... I've got my dress on because we're going to head back in again. What are we doing today? We're going to go and sort out places to go off the side. Oh, about that's right. We're going to get our, our got to get a few yeah, an places. itinerary. We've got to, to get some plumbing equipment, hopefully. Where we can and can't go. There's some islands that you have resorts on and they don't want, they don't want boats. What? Mm. Can you believe it? Can you come down a wee bit? Because I can't get space in. Unless my arms grow longer. There they go. Okay. And I can't oh, yeah. hold it there forever. Yeah. Yeah, so not not much planned for today, and then tomorrow we're going to move from here to. Ooh, let's bring it over that way. We're going to move from here to um, somewhere again, quite local. We could put it on the stand. Right. Well, we're just putting it on the stand. Yeah, we're going to. Woo! And there. <laughs> seamless. You pull it down. Seamless. This. There's nothing Just a like... wobbly. We're going to put a stand up. It's going to sit stationary as. There we go. Done. She's done this um, one Look at that. Yeah. Probably didn't we're even gonna... notice anything was going on there. No, come this way because it's there's no it's in the sun. Um, what's they saying? Oh, we're going. Yes, there's a, several islands close by, and there's a bigger island over there that has more shops. So we're going to head over there um, the road the road the village is very small there are 500 people that live, live here I think it's 535 something like that and uh, uh, it's 66 people you know it could it's 
we could be anywhere in the world, anywhere, any tropical island in the world, but they all have a different feel. It certainly yeah. feels very different from, this looks like Fiji, but once you walk in land, it's not Fiji at all. No. Um, but it's nice. It's a, like, oh, it's not, not an, I'm not sandy, saying it's not nice, it's streets, lovely. On motorbikes. But mainly motorbikes. Sandy. They do have, they don't have tuk-tuks, but they have, um, they don't have any transport. I don't think they get a lot of visitors here. Only boats transiting through. It's a place to, to um, you know, we can clear customs here, but you don't, people don't tend to stay here very long because there's not much here. I don't think they get visitors. The village shop was about the size of our cockpit, almost, wasn't it? A little bit bigger than our cockpit. Yeah. Maybe the size of our cockpit and our saloon. That yeah. was the size of the village shop. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> this randomly spaced stuff is kind of all over. It's funny. Yeah. Stuff is all over the place. But I, he sold everything. He yeah. did sell, didn't he? He had a lot for sale. Yeah, yeah. I needed to get some yeah. I needed to get some thread. And he had thread for sale. He had plumbing equipment. Right be right beside <laughs> Not the top. what I was looking for, but um uh yes, so we won't be here for long. There's another island over there that's got more shops. Oh, where we've moved. I don't know where that island's gone. Oh, yeah. oh over there. <laughs> and uh, um, and then we're going to go south. I, I believe there's a lovely island close by. What are you getting? Thank you. A little black thing. Looks oh. like a blackhead, but it wasn't. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe, just, is it that island over there? There's yeah. an island just right beside us also there. that has a lot of sea life. So we're going to... Mantas and whatever. We had a, went for a dive yesterday for lob, crayfish, lobster, and um, around Came the end point hungry. of the island, down the end there, and um, we there weren't any, but there was a lot of fish life, and um, and where the there was a drop off where it went out, and then it just sort of disappeared into darkness, and I saw this big, like really good sized shark. It was about three, it must have been close to three meters if it wasn't, it was close to it, and um, it was like a reef shark, but. Uh, um, but then, because it was sort of just this, you know, shadowy, I thought I saw a hammer. So it might have been a hammerhead, but I'm, I'm not convinced that. I think it was just a big reef, a grey reef shark, which it kind of can be, can be a bit, um, I know a guy who got bitten by one actually up in the uh, Maldives, that guy we met. Up in the Maldives? Where uh, we up are? in um, <laughs> Minerva Reef, Minerva Reef. By a hammerhead? No, no, by a reef shark. Really? Yeah, that guy, that horrible guy. Was, uh, that wasn't a reef shark that bit him. Poacher. What was it? No, he got hit. He got bitten by. No, it wasn't nurse, a reef shark. Uh, reef nurse, nurse reef thing. Yeah, grey, grey right. reef. A grey reef. Yeah, shark. he was poaching anyway. He was he poaching was poaching, wasn't shells. Wasn't a nice guy. He deserved it. <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning. So, yeah. out poaching. That's another story. Yeah. So yes. Anyway, so we won't be here for much longer, but it is beautiful. And it is lovely to be here. Somebody said, "How can we afford? How can we afford to go to the most expensive?" Oh um, uh, yeah. Did you see that comment under yesterday's? How can we afford life? to go to when we're watching our money? Yeah, of course we're watching our money because it doesn't. You know, it's it's an expensive lifestyle to a point, but you can do it. You know, if you watch your money, you can do some amazing things for within budget, and. Um, this is not an expensive place if you bring your house with you. <laughs> we brought <laughs> our house with us. Are... I mean, you know, yeah. the yeah, you can pay a thousand dollars a night to stay in a resort, or nothing. <laughs> We're paying nothing. Uh, and then the, the, you know, we're buying our food in the village shop. So that's. And they they don't have two prices. One it's local for, price. Yeah, it's local yeah, price. It's pretty reasonable. So anyway, yeah, it's interesting how like I guess the interesting thing for me is, well, two things. Like it it does you know it does. I can't say I'm immune to not getting rolled by those sort of comments. Sometimes they do they do get you a little bit. And but um, it does also the interesting thing is how people can get a certain perspective and just lock into that. Mm. And uh, and you know it's just not looking at the big picture and understanding just not understanding not doing research i mean the maldives isn't even in the top 10 of the most expensive countries in the world as we as we soon found out researching it ourselves rachel have a look and uh, yeah 
So, it's interesting. It's interesting. I can't. Finn from Zataragoy's van. Yes, we went. We watched yeah. that episode. He gave nice a little shout, shout out, out to, to Ivan. Yeah, those two got on yeah. like a house on fire. <laughs> and and Finn was really upset when when we left. When we emotional. didn't. Well, we didn't leave. Yeah. They left to go. Well, we did leave actually. We left first, but. We didn't follow them. They were coming here to the Maldives, and we wanted to, we wanted to stay in Australia because we really wanted to go to Southeast Asia. But and I was really fun. surprised how. Oh yeah. For Alfin, he's close. I Alfin. was really surprised how upset Finn got. Mm. He was in tears he when we really left. Lovely. Yeah, really it touching. was really nice. And mm. they're are really they're really nice kids. Finn, very yeah. you know, Ivan and and Finn. Would have got a very well matched, mm. Mm. you know, in there. He's super bright, then super yeah. clever guy. Yeah. And um and so sort of Ivan's his yang. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. Ivan's no, bright. Ivan's super bright too. So I'm not some. Ivan's the, really quick. Anything for a JK. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but that wasn't a very nice. That wasn't joke. a very nice joke at all. Mm. Yeah. Will Ivan it's be joining okay him? If I don't joke know. Is on me. Well, okay. Ivan's only sixteen. It's okay then. Ivan's only sixteen at the moment. Finn is 17, Finn turns 18. Oh, actually, Ivan will be 17 when Finn turns 18. So, I don't know. Finn hasn't invited him yet, so, you know. He kind of has. Well, he mentioned it, but yeah. it's not a formal invite, so. No. He might. Well, the way Ivan, see, he's sort of, Ivan can be a bit, um, uh, not be overly descriptive in his, you know, he sort of plays it down. He plays things down a lot. Which is kind of a strength and a weakness. So, you know, but, so I, I think he did get a formal invite. No, I don't think he did. Anyway, no, we're probably no. not supposed to say anything. No. So, um, yeah, maybe he will, maybe he won't. But you'll have to keep watching. Mm. You'll have to keep watching Finn. You'll have to keep watching here to see if Finn of our Ivan disappears. That would be nice. Yeah. Only worry, the only thing that worries me is that Finn's a new driver. So. Yeah. And but you know actually on the other side, yeah, all those kids are most welcome to come and join us anytime they want to as well. And they know well, I think they know. Certainly Finn knows that. We've said that to Finn via Ivan. Mm. Yeah, it's but a very Jack different. and Kate doesn't be most welcome anytime. Yeah, I think our boat is. In fact, not, Keith and Renee. Their boat is a lot bigger get, than ours. I think they'll they'll struggle in a much smaller space. We'll see. I don't know, Keith, when he'd come over, he'd lounge across the saloon. He'd lay across the round the room, but he'd make himself an oak. He had no problem with that. So if Keith Yeah, but not liver, he would visit. No, he didn't living. live with yeah. us, so yeah. <laughs> he would do, wouldn't he? Yeah. He'd come in here, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, you know what it's like. Yeah. <laughs> he was fun. Colourful. Yeah. All right, I think we've talked enough, haven't we? I'll give you one more view of that lovely water with the boys in it. Okay, so and we then my... we shall say goodbye. And, and I apologies, don't think... my apologies actually. Hey, oh. Um Apologies, I didn't um, go through yesterday's live chat to get any questions. And here comes the boat. I think was the boat that came in last night. We oh. nearly. Cr oh, there's a stingray. Right, 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 oh, right. Oh. right. Stingray, can you see the stingray? Oh, just. They, uh... He's uh, right close to the surface though. It's one of those beautiful spotted ones. Uh, I don't know if Look you're seeing the, that. As he comes back into the sand, no, uh, you'll see him then. Comes back into the sand. No, he's not. Oh yeah, there he's gone. Oh, now he goes and dives. He's dived down. Uh, no, you can't see it. Anyway, he's off there. You might see him. Oh, he's coming up. He's coming. Anyway, you see a black patch. Wind noise. Oh, here he comes. You're right at the surface. There's wind noise now. Put your hand down there. Oh yeah, sorry. No. Not around the, yeah. like that. Yeah. The wrong hand. Oh. <laughs> so that boat there, I'm pretty sure, is the one that we nearly crashed into last night. This is scary. Okay. There's the stingray. Anyway. Okay, back to Rachel. I was going to show the boys, so it's okay. We'll just say goodbye. No, and I don't, I don't think we'll do a live tomorrow, will we? No. no. Oh, no. Well, no, no. I don't think so. The, oh, his, oh, this is <clears throat> chin-up like mania. Oh, okay. Dick was just doing a chin-up. Do a live next week on Wednesday. How's that? Oh. Do a live on Wednesday next week. Wednesday next yeah, Wednesday. Should we make it? Should we make it a weekly thing? Yeah, weekly live on Wednesday. On Wednesday, we'll put out our episode <coughs> on a Sunday, and then a, a live on a Wednesday. Just a little chat. What do you guys think of that? Wednesdays. That, Same that, time. Does that sound like a plan? It sounds like a plan, I reckon. Does that sound like wind noise? Put your hand back. No, there. there's no wind here. Hey, um, by the way, um, what was I going to say? No, doesn't get it. All right.
I don't I don't like saying goodbye. I kind of like just chatting to you guys, even though We've got no. a very nice angle here. Sounds good. Looking at the new dinghy, who's the Hughes logo. Wednesday is good, says somebody who I can't read. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Bye bye from Hamilton. Is that uh, Tony? Yep. That's Hamilton, New Zealand. Oh, Hamilton NZ, that is, yes. Sounds excellent. Now, Tony, tell the Waikato Times to get their act together, please. Catch up with what we're doing over here. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Say right. goodbye, right. Robert. Okay, goodbye. We'll see you guys Wednesday. See you Wednesday. Not this Wednesday, next Wednesday. Not this, not this Wednesday. In a week and a bit time. Bye-bye. Cheerio. Much love to you all. Safe adventures. Remember, life's an adventure. Oh, sorry, no. Declan's episode that's coming out oh, yeah. soon. When is it going to come out, Declan? Don't give anything away. No. Declan? Coming out next Sunday. Monday. No, no, Monday. Uh, it was we... going to be, he was going to drop it next today, maybe, eh? Yeah, but... but... We, we've had a look at it ourselves, and make, he's really made a few lovely. little... Things. It's really nice, and... Can I say the line? No. The title? No. 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 no, okay. I think, I, I, I really, we really like it. We think it's, it's very special for, especially for... People, perhaps in our generation, <laughs> I'll say no more. Speak for yourself, Speak for yourself woman, <laughs> man. All right, much love to you all. Life's an adventure, no matter where you are, what you're doing. Bye bye.